Okay, so <laughs> I was uh, attempting the flag class from uh, Primo Customs um, blog TV class that was uh, from the was it 16th of June, I believe it was, and got in there and did all the blue, did all the red, did some of the shading in the red. And I peeled the masking off. And um, noticed some uh, paint creep underneath my frisket. So I decided, well, let me go in with a little bit of sandpaper. And, um, you know, see if I can clean that up. I hadn't unmasked the stars yet. Look at all that. Now, what's that a result of? Well, um, a few things, actually. My paint was probably a little too thin. Um, I was shooting uh, probably too wet. And uh, the third thing that could have caused, uh, it, well, contributed to that, was um, my frisket wasn't... Uh, uh, fully, it wasn't down, it wasn't, uh, it was obviously lifting, allowing the paint to uh, creep under it. And so I went in, went in with the red scotch bright and was sanding it and sanding it and trying to get rid of the build uh, along these edges here. So that way I don't have to sand this all the way back down. And then um, I can go back in with some sealer white and, uh, uh, you know, remask it, dry back out, and um, go again. So there's a little quick lesson for you. When you're working with frisket, make sure it's stuck. Um, make sure you're not spraying too wet. Use multiple, multiple light passes. Make sure the paint isn't ultra thin. And also, I probably should have done it. Grab some transparent base. If you're using Auto Air or if you're using Wicked, grab some transparent base and shoot a layer of that transparent base um, before you're... Uh, before you start shooting color, and what that uh, that what that will actually do is is help combat the uh, the paint creep. I knew that, uh, but I figured, yeah, you know, everything will be all right, no big deal. I don't really have to worry about it. But I was wrong, and that happens. So I figured, you know, I would show you guys um, that it does happen, and um, you know, it it can be fixed. Um, in most cases, it can be fixed, but the way I, I went, I just went in too aggressive uh, sanding this thing. So I'm actually just going to strip it all back and uh, have another go at it. So there you go. Check it out. Again, use the transparent base. <laughs> That'll help lock everything, and um, you will uh, avoid things like that and like that like that and that ironically the cleanest part <laughs> is the smallest little corner of that star that's sticking out right there that is the cleanest part of the whole piece so there you go a little quick tip thanks for watching